for year 3 different this time. So uh, we try to copy the Nigerians. As she will be ladies, so who will grow? The Nigerians are in town. Who will grow? That's what we mean by who will grow.
We bless your name and bless you, Jesus' name. Let it just shout, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You may please be seated. This is triumphant end time ministry. We are here to fulfill God's great commission. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why we are here. Hallelujah. Amen. As I said before the beginning of time, God knew that this day will come. And two of us, those beautiful people, will come before Him and renew their commitment to each other before Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's a wonderful time that God has made possible. Amen. Amen. We want to welcome everybody, take a song, and welcome everybody to this special occasion. Together again
your two hands together and give praise to Jesus. Oh, you didn't hear me. I said, give praise to Jesus. Should be called the sons or the children of God. For we know not how he is, but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him. Oh, you didn't hear me? He is coming back. Oh, I said he is coming back. Oh, hallelujah. And so the Bible says that they that have the same belief and the expectation that the master is coming back, they always set themselves apart. Oh, hallelujah. They live a life expecting the master that he is coming back. Oh, how many of you know that he's coming back? Oh, hallelujah. Put your hands together and give praise to Jesus. Amen. Now, on this note, I want to welcome all of you here on behalf of our senior pastor, Reverend Edwin Achinia, and the first lady in the house. I want to welcome all of you to Triumphant End Time Ministry. Hallelujah. Thank you for welcome. We we'll love you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, at the end of the service, we have a welcome package that we will give them out to you. So just relax. We believe that your life will never be the same by the end of this service. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready this afternoon? Hallelujah. We want to, with a club offering, and a standing ovation, receive the servant of God, Reverend Edwin God. Put your two hands together and give praise to Jesus. I said, give praise to Jesus.
bless you as such because heaven is your abode yes. and the earth is your footstool. You are the king that reigns in majesty, reigns in complete and total authority. You sit in the council of heaven and superintend over the affairs of men on earth. Father, your name is exalted. Your name is glorified. Your name is above every name. And at the mention of your name, every knee must bow. Every knee in the heavens, every knee on earth, and every knee underneath the earth. They must bow at the mention of your glory, your slave. Energized by your strength, superintended by your grace. I pray this day that may this atmosphere that is prepared for your worship, may it bring you honor, may it bring you glory. We plead the blood over this ground and take captive this audience and this atmosphere in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, speak today. Lord, speak this afternoon. Declare your word in power and in might. Touch my lips of clay that I may be empowered to declare the oracles of Yahweh, the oracles of Jehovah, the oracles of Elohim in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I stop every mouth, I stop every eye, I stop every finger from the underworld and I bind them and I submit them under our feet today. Let that which is done be of the spirit and be of God alone. Of God alone. Of God alone. Receive all the praise. For your, your, your honor and your and your worship you shall share with no man. Your glory, 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 Jehovah. Your glory in the house. Your glory in the house. Your glory in the house. In Jesus' name. Indeed, you are the Alpha. Indeed, you are the Omega. The ageless one. The changeless Messiah. Hey, Almighty, who is like unto thee. Absolutely man is like unto thee. Before the bank you were, your name is just a slave. I want the congregation of the righteous to put their hands together and give a shout to the spirit that we worship. To the spirit that we adore today. To the spirit that we honor today. In the name of Jesus. 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 Can you imagine someone who has no beginning? And because of that has no end. He's the ageless one, the changeless one, the Alpha and the Omega, the omniscient one, the one who carries all power and authority. The Bible says that he sits in the council of heaven and makes judicial decisions that no one can challenge. His name is Elohim. His name is Yahweh. He's Jehovah Jireh. Oh, give him praise in the house. I said give him praise in the house. Oh, I said give him praise in the house. In Jesus' name. Please take your seats in royal places. Hallelujah. Say this about marriage today. You are either married, or you are about to get married, or you are eventually going to get married. So marriage touches every life. Can I hear amen to that? I say marriage does what? It touches every life. You have observed the marriage of your parents, the marriage of your uncle and auntie, and one day, you'll be in one that is yours. You see, we go to school and get educated to serve in an office and occupy a position. Oh, I didn't hear amen. amen. We are schooled. When you want to run a political office, you bring together a team of advisors who will advise you as to how to speak, how to present yourself, and for months and months on end, they school you and coach you. It shall be a celebration of a daily of a daily event Amen. in marriage. Hallelujah. Amen. Marriage is supposed to be pleasurable. It's supposed to be enjoyed. It's supposed to be something that you run from office to home for. I didn't hear him. Amen. You don't get out of the office and drive six six times around your block to try to see how you can make an entrance into your home. No. You drive from the office and drive straight home. Sometimes you hit the garage wall because you want to hurry and get inside. That is the marriage that God has put together and put aside for us to enjoy, to live and be a part of. Say, I believe. I believe. Today, this afternoon, if your marriage is on the rocks, 
it shall lead the lost and come to the and to come to stable ground. I did not hear amen. Oh, I did not hear amen. Maybe the foundation on which you built your marriage is shaky. It is just mere sun. But I pray that as I speak God's word, it shall solidify and become solid rock. In the rock of oh, oh, the rock of Jesus Himself. He shall be the solid anchor that shall help your marriage to develop and to grow and to learn. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Christ. Not marriage in crisis. But marriage in Christ. Hallelujah. Now watch this. Watch this. Marriage in Christ is a covenant relationship in God. God called Abraham one day. And said, I'm going to make a covenant with you. God, I am choosing you as the apple of my eye. I am choosing you to favor you and call you my, by my last name. Oh, I didn't hear amen. amen. And, to, and to ratify, ratify this occasion and this ceremony, I'm going to go into a covenant with you. Can you get me some turtle doves? Can you get me some birds? Can you get me some sheep and some lamb? Cut them in half and I'm going to go in between them. And as I pass in between them, and my glory pass in between them, that will be the permanent seal. And I'm going to swear by my name, because there's no other name above my name. And when I swear by my name, I shall perform that which I have declared today. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Marriage is a covenant relationship in God. May it flourish. May it be blessed. Amen. And may it be enjoyable. May, you, may, may the Lord fill your mouth with laughter on a daily basis. Amen. May your spouse be your best friend. Amen. May you hit the back of his head and say, darling, I love you. Amen. You make my life full and complete. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Wives. Wives. Be subject to your own. I have seen it too many times. Where wives are subject to their pastors. They will come and serve you with water and wipe your feet. Hallelujah. Amen. It's over level. No. God says, wives, do what? Be subject to your own husbands. When you are subject to something, you are under the something. It superintends over you in all authority, in all power, in all command, and in all instruction. When he says jump, your question should be how high? Amen. I didn't hear amen to that. When your husband says, I need jump, your question should be how high do you want me to jump this time around? Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. That is a wife subjecting her wishes and her desires to that of her husband. This is a godly arrangement, and if you kick against it, God will treat you like you treated Saul of Tarsus. Remember? He told me you cannot kick against the God. You cannot come against me. For what you have done, I will make you an apostle. And I will send you with the gospel message. And when you went and stoned people to death, they will beat you. They will throw you in jail. You are going to weep over people. You are going to, have, you are going to be the pastor of a church in Corinth. Where the people will be adulterous. And all, 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 all inconsiderate. And very bad. Without love, and then you can feel back the pain that you visited to me. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You can't kick against God. In spite of Beijing, man and woman are not equal. Oh, and the woman said, yeah. I said, Let me say it again. In spite of Beijing, man and woman are not equal. If you don't believe me, go and check the Olympic records and check if there are any two records for men and women that are the same. There's a disparity between every one of those records. Why? Because men and women are never the same. Hallelujah. Her husband Abraham and even call her and call the Lord. And it says, the way wives ought to subject themselves to their own husbands, it must be as unto the Lord Himself, our Creator, our Redeemer, and our soon coming King. For the husband is the head of the wife. Let me pause here and make an interjection. You see, when you are a single lady, there's a name that they give to you to call, I mean, when they want to call you, that is how they call you by. And it literally means that cover yourself and hide. Yes. Cover yourself and do what? And hide. If you are single, please do what? Cover yourself first. 
Cover your surface and they'll hide after you have covered yourself. Yesterday there was a lady at the party. I wonder whether she was wearing a top. Oh, hello. I wonder whether she was wearing a top because her dress started from here. Do what? Cover yourself and do what? And hide. And when you wear something, please make sure it covers your knees. Because when it doesn't cover your knees and you sit down, Mr. Kofi, can you please take up, lift up your hands? No, just sit down, lift up your hands a little. Lift your hand. You see, if you're a woman and you sit down like this, what are you, what are you showing? Because your skirt is here. And when you sit down, what are you showing? Hallelujah. Amen. That was just an interjection. Amen. Amen. For the husband is the head of the wife. The husband is the CEO of the company, and the, and the wife is an employee. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So your husband is what? Your head. So all major decisions are taken by who? <laughs> all major decisions are approved by who? <laughs> who gives direction? <laughs> who says, let's go? <laughs> who says, stop? <laughs> who says, sit down? <laughs> who says, let's go to bed? <laughs> it is the CEO and the husband. Because he's the head of the family. Listen, let me tell you something. You see, when you live your life according to the pattern, listen, the pattern of the one who puts marriage together, when you are in trouble, he can do what? Help you. Are you hearing me? Oh, are you hearing me? But when you don't live your life according to the pattern that he has put in place, when you are in trouble, you are on your, on your own. That is the way it works. So I'd rather submit myself to the law of God so that God can superintend over my, my marriage and cause things, in fact, invisible hands to push things into place to make it work. Yes. God has invisible hands. Do you know that? Yes. He has. Like people cannot before. It pays in significance to the power that our glorious king carries. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two. Now watch this. You see, the first one I said, God commands that there must be compatibility, Correct? And I say spiritual compatibility. The second one, I says we encourage. This is not commanded by scripture. You see, Paul, Paul writes in the scripture in 1 Corinthians 7. He said, this I say of the Lord, not of me. And then when he went further, he says, this is not of the Lord, but of me. This is not of the Lord, it's of me. Amen? Amen. Because I've been in this matter counseling business for about 25 years. I was on radio in Ghana before I came here, on marital counseling. We encourage social and economic compatibility. We encourage it. You see, I had an experience some time back ago. I was in a lecture theater with a group of students. And there was this guy who sat two rows behind me. And then I made a statement to him. And I used a, a, a word that was manufactured in Britain. You know the words that are manufactured in Britain are big. And they are tough. It was not supposed to be anything he could not understand. But he did not understand what I said. And he assumed that my statement was, was a statement of insult to him. So in front of the whole class, he got up and gave it to me. He insulted me from my, the crown of my head, the soles of my feet, and reminded me of the day I was born. Now, after he had done all of that, he left the lecture theater and went home. I'm talking about educational compatibility. Listen to me. So after he left, guess what the, other, the rest of the students did? He said, Eddie, what this guy has done, you have to go and beat him up. And we will give you bodyguards to go with you. So that when you throw the left, left punch and it wants to counter punch, they will catch his hand. So you can, you can launch the right one. Well, oh, I'm telling the truth. They all inspired me to go and mess up the guy, seriously. But as, as I left the lecture theater and went to the, the hall of residence, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, Don't do that, brother, go and apologize to him. I said, But I didn't even insult the guy. I didn't know it wrong. Why, why, why must I be the person to go and apologize? He said, Do as I say, and I'll be with you. I went to this guy's door in Indies, knocked on his door, uh, I think the number was 137 or something. He opened the door, and then when he saw my face, he, he stepped back two steps because he knew. Uh -huh. But I said, Tony, I'm sorry for what happened in the lecture theater earlier this morning. Um, what I said, whether you are a student or not is irrelevant, but because you are a student to be an insult, I must apologize to you. Please forgive me, and let us start anew. The guy stood there, a man, a guy, about 21 years old, and then tears started welling out of his eyes. And he says, I have no respect for those who call themselves Christians, particularly the ones who speak tongues. I have no respect for them. I know they are the scum of the earth. 
because their behavior stinks. But what they demonstrated to me this afternoon has touched my heart. And I will think about, seriously about becoming a Christian. And I say this to God's glory today. He's a believer in Christ. Amen. And I'm sure because of that encounter he had with me. Now, if we were on the same educational level, do you think that this Mr. Sunday would have arrived, arisen in the first place? Uh -huh. So we encourage educational compatibility. If you finish San 7 and she has finished college, please don't go and marry her. Because when she meets her friends, <laughs> they will ask, I wish this world to wait, where do you find it? <laughs> it's true, I'm telling the truth. When you meet his friends, they will also say, this one too doesn't have classmates. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we encourage educational what? Compatibility. Upgrade yourself. Quickly. Amen. Otherwise, you before you can eat. Meanwhile, she has been drinking English tea and muffins for breakfast. How can the two of you agree at the breakfast table? There'll be trouble. She will bring you cutlery. And, and you ask, have we found game? Then you're going to cut up with this knife. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Are you hearing me? So we encourage social compatibility. At least you must be close so that you can jump the bridge. Amen. Amen. I remember a guy married, got married in Ghana. The guy, this is his height. He was like four feet two. And the woman was six feet one. And he went and married her. There was no compatibility. And you know what he said? He said, the thing, we don't climb into the ladder. <laughs> you know how, <laughs> you know how, it, it, the mind, how long the money lasted? Less than six months. The guy said, the lady said she was going to Nigeria to go and do some business and come. She went, she went, ah! This shot in. Who wants it? <laughs> Hallelujah. So there must be what? Compatibility on all levels. Please. Amen. Amen. God hates the world. Say it again. God hates the world. Say it again. God hates the world. Say it again. God hates the world. Me, me as a pastor, if you come to me with a divorce option, I'm gone. I'll flee you. <laughs> I won't agree with you. Never. Not under any circumstance or situation. In fact, if your husband is beating you to the point of killing you, he can kill you. You'll be called a martyr. <laughs> you go straight to heaven. Amen. You didn't understand it. Yes. Not M A R T H A O. M A R T Y. Uh -huh. You'll be called a martyr. You go straight to heaven. So don't worry about it. God has what? Yes, God. In fact, if you marry a Christian in the first place, will he beat you? No. Malachi 2.16, watch this. For the Lord God of Israel says that he does what? He hates divorce. divorce. For it covers one's garden with violence. Divorce is like cutting flesh and separating it by force. You see, when you, have, you cut flesh, you use a knife. But when you grab the flesh with both hands and begin to tear it apart, that is divorce. It, it, it involves serious violence. Hallelujah. Says a lot of us. Therefore, take heed to your spirit and do not deal Treasurely. Number two, Mark 10, 8 to 9. And the two shall become? So then they are no longer two, but therefore what God has joined together. Are you hearing me? What God has joined together, let no man do what? Uh -huh. That is why you must go through premarital counseling. I have been in situations where people have come to premarital counseling. By the time we are done with the second lesson, they say, eh, this is not the right one. You flee early and find the right one. And land safely. Amen. Amen. That is a principle. I said, what? Flee early, find the right one, and land what? Safely. God bless you. Beautiful spirits. Put your hands together for yourselves. Amen. This, in a gist, is marriage in Christ. Hey, it will keep you, it will preserve you, it will make you enjoy your marriage. Now, when we're going to get married, we got, went through premarital counseling for some months. The, the man and his wife who counseled us, one day, when we were living in Connecticut, he came to visit us, um, to come, he came to the U.S. for a visit. Amen? Amen? And he came to visit us in our home. He sat with us around our dining table, myself and my wife, and this was the statement he made. Listen very carefully. He says, I have counseled and led into marriage scores of people, even in the hundreds. But of all the people that we led into marriage, you and your wife 
are the prime example that we tout around wherever we go. Amen. I'm telling the truth. Amen. He sat with us around our dining table in Connecticut, and this was his exclamation. I said, you don't know how much we fight. But even it looked beautiful. Amen. You see, that kind of fight, when you go like this, I will beat you. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And that is how your marriage must be. Amen. It must be something somebody will look at and must desire quickly to get married. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Amen. It must be pleasant. It must be a testimony. It must be glorious. It must honor the one who created it in the first place. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm praying. You see, the Bible says something. I'm done with the word. It says two people built a house. They all built. But one built on sand. And one built on a solid rock. And then the wind blew. And the tornado came. Maria. Tornado, tornado Maria. Came. And what happened? The one that was built on sand, what? Collapsed. But the, the one that was built on a rock stood its ground. Hallelujah. Today, we're going to plant your marriage on a solid ground. Amen. The name of the ground is Christ. Amen. Jesus. Amen. When your marriage is planted on that ground, whatever you build on it, Stands. Everyone can build it. Everybody can call himself Mr. and Mrs. It doesn't matter. Everyone will call himself Mr. and Mrs. But not all the marriages can stand the test of time. Hallelujah. Amen. It is only those that are built on a solid rock that will stand the test of time. I pray that you have given some wisdom today. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. If that is the case, just give the Lord a win. Amen. I know for some of you, your pastors are already in trouble. I know for some of you, your pastors are already in trouble because you're already making the church change. Not sexy, but church change. Change. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We're going to go straight into the second segment of our service, and that is the renewal of wedding vows. It's a song that we let you play for them, and they'll walk gorgeously. Come around and come and stand in front of me. Can you play the song for me? Can the singers please come? Amen. Amen. The man will stand up next and gently help the wife to stand. ceremony. This is a happy occasion and a special opportunity for God's people, the church. It is appropriate, therefore, that we seek the Lord's presence and guidance as we gather for this unique spiritual union in Him. Amen? So shall we all please rise for a word of prayer? ceremony. It is with great joy that we are gathered to witness the joining together again of Kofi and Grace as they renew their marriage vows before you and this august company. We know that you are already here in fulfillment of your scripture that wherever we are gathered together in your name 
there you are present in your power and in your mind. We, your children, welcome your Holy Spirit's presence and honor your most, you, most high God, even in Jesus' name, and shall the congregation say, Amen. Scripture reading, there are three of them. The first one we have already read, Ephesians 5, 22 to 33. So I'll skip that one. Amen? Amen. The second scripture we did not read, Colossians 3, 12 to 19. Colossians 3, 12 to 19, and I read. Therefore, as God's elect, holy and beloved, put on what? Tender mercies. Put on kindness. Put on humility. Put on meekness. Chris, are you listening? Put on tender mercies, put on kindness, put on humility, put on meekness, coffee, put on long suffering, bear with one another, and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ Jesus forgave you, so you also must forgive. We forgive because he forgave us. Amen? Amen. We don't forgive because the partner has repented. He doesn't need to repent. Forgive him anyway. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of what? Perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body. And be thankful. Let the, let the word of God dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Give him thanks to God the Father through him. Amen. Amen. The last scripture which everybody I believe knows, love suffers long. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself like a peacock. Love is not puffed up. Love does not behave rudely. Love thinks no evil. Love does not seek its own. Love is not provoked. Love does not rejoice in iniquity, but love rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, and love indeed never fails. Say, love, love. is good. It's good. Love, love is great. It's great. God. God. Give me more of love. More of Help me to show love. Me to Exhibit love. love. Live in love. Live in that I may receive back in return. Good measure. Good Press measure. down. Shake it together. Men will lavish on me. Amen. 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 Now, declaration of intent. Kofi, please say this after me. Can somebody please give me a microphone? I, Kofi Duncan. I, Kofi Duncan. This is the declaration of intent. Do pledge my love. You pledge my love to my wife Grace Duncan. To my wife Grace Duncan. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy and word. And as God's Holy Spirit empowers me. And as God's Holy Spirit empowers me. I recommit myself. I recommit myself. To honor and uphold my wife. To honor and uphold my wife. And join her. And join her. In creating a home. In creating a home. That shall endure. That shall endure. And prosper in love and in peace. And prosper in love and in peace. Even abundantly. Even abundantly. I reaffirm, I reaffirm my commitment, my commitment to a much deeper, to a much deeper and stronger union, and stronger union with my wife, with my wife, whereby we shall both be fulfilled, whereby we shall both be fulfilled in love, in love and in joy, and in joy. I further pledge, I further pledge my complete faithfulness, my complete faithfulness through all the changing seasons of life, through all the changing seasons of life. Do you know people change in seasons? I will tell you the changes before we close. You will love it. All this I pledge. All this I pledge. Of my own free will. Of my own free will. Not under duress. Not under duress. And give myself. Give myself. Completely. Completely. To love my wife. To love my wife. For as long as. For as long as. We both shall live. We both shall live. To all this I say. To all this I say. I do. I do. For where you go. For where I go. For where you go. For where you go. I will go. I will go. And where you lodge, where you lodge, I will lodge, I will lodge. And grace, and grace, and grace, and grace. Look at this, and grace, and grace. Your people shall be my people. Your people shall be my people. And your God shall be my God. And your God shall be my Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Auntie Grace, can you please, can you please grab the microphone? Say, I do hereby affirm. I do hereby affirm. 
pledge, pledge and understand, and understand according to God's holy word. God's holy and by the empowerment of the Holy Spirit and by the empowerment to, the submit Spirit, to submit to you, Kofi, to you Kofi, in all things who I will submit. I will submit. Amen. Amen. Oh, the say amen to that. Amen. I recommit my love. I recommit my love to honor you. To honor you. To uphold you as my husband. You as my husband. And to join you. And to join you. In creating a home. And create a home. That shall endure. That shall endure. And prosper in love. And prosper in love. And in peace. And in peace. Even abundantly. Even abundantly. I reaffirm. I reaffirm. My commitment. My commitment. To a deeper and a stronger union. To a deeper. With my husband, you go feed. To my husband, you go feed. Whereby we shall both. Whereby we shall. Be fulfilled in love. In, and enjoy. This is beautiful. Oh, can you catch that in your screen? This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You see, when the glory of God comes upon a man of God, oh, it has happened to you many times. You stand in his presence, you look at the scripture, and you cannot open your mouth. You cannot minister any longer because the glory is so strong. That is what it is. She means what she's saying, and it is evolving her life to a new grace in a new movie. Amen. Amen. To all this, to I say I do. I say I do. For when you go, Kofi, when you go, Kofi, I'll go. I'll go. And when you lodge, I will lodge. I will lodge. I will lodge. Your people, your people, shall be my people. Shall be my people. And your God, and your God, shall be my God. Put your hands up for that. Amazing. 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 So I'm going to read something, and then we'll exchange the vows. Amen. 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 You have rings to put on? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Oh, wow. Think back to the day when you both first pledged your love to one another. Years and years and decades ago. Your love was young and ignorant, but strong. You had grand dreams and you looked forward to a bright future. By the grace of God, you have reached a new plateau, like just plateau in Nigeria. In your life, you have faced the challenges of children. You already have children and bills in uh, Donald Trump's America. <laughs> and witness the changes that come with years and age. Maturity, like old wine. Hallelujah. Amen. Still, you are committed to one another and are giving public testimony to that commitment in this service. Hallelujah. Amen. As you renew your vows, you can make these promises now with strong boldness and confidence. Amen. Your love for each other is more refined, beautiful, because God has seen you both through many challenges. God today stands as witness to those vows you are about to exchange. First, Mr. Kofi Duncan, because you are the head of the home. Can you please separate yourself, grab the microphone, and make these vows onto the wall. Now, there's a person who, somebody who is recording what is going on. His name is Elohim. His name is Jehovah. His name is Yahweh. He's recording what is going on. And he's the witness of this vow. And he's the one who's going to sign the bottom of the paper. You understand? So what you vow, you keep to it. I, Kofi Duncan. I, Kofi Duncan. Hereby renew the vows. Hereby renew the vows. I made. I made. When we became husband. When we became husband. And wife. And wife. I therefore this day. I therefore this day. Take you. Take you. The nation wife's name. Grace Duncan. Chris Duncan again to be my wife. Again to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. Or for worse. Or for worse. For richer. For richer. Or for poorer. Or for poorer. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. And to cherish. And to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I will keep it. I will keep it. And I will do it. And I will do it. There shall be strong performance. There shall be strong performance. So help me God. So help me God. Put your hands together for me. Give me 20 grace. I, Grace Duncan. I, Grace Duncan. Renew the vows I made when we became husband and wife. Renew the vows of Husband and wife. I therefore, I therefore, this day, this day, October the first, October twenty seventeen, twenty seventeen, take all of you, Mr. Kofi Duncan, Mr. Duncan, again to be my husband, again to be my husband, to have, to have, and to hold, and to hold from this day forward, this, for better, for, 
for worse, for, worse, for, richer, for richer, for poorer, for poorer in, sickness, in sickness, and in health. And to love, to love and, to and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. When you go, I will go. When you lie down, I will lie down. What you eat, I will eat. Your God shall be my God, and your people shall indeed be my people. I will love them and honor them and cherish them as I do for you. In Jesus' name, so help me God. Put your hands together for her. Can I have the rings, please? Can I have the rings, please? Can I have the rings, please? Father, in Jesus' name, we declare heaven's approval. We declare heaven's... May it bring a future that is envious. This will be the empowering tool, anointed from heaven, that constantly approves of our life and makes our love stronger. Even in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I sanctify these rings from every previous life that they come from. May they be renewed in the power and in the cleansing that is provided even in the blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary's cross. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen. 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 When it's rain, put on the left finger. Right here. I be word. I be word. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. So help me God. So help me God. Oh, amen. Amen. And to please see the ring. With this ring, with this ring, I be word. I be word. That you, Kofi, that you, Kofi, are my loving husband. You are my loving husband. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. So help me God. So help me God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 I'm sure you have. You are going for an only moon after this. Amen. 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 When you go to the honeymoon, first thing, check the room for cameras. <laughs> when you don't find any, you see, uh, uh, check the, the ceiling fan, check the lights, and then check the, the air refreshment. The one that is puff, that puff can be a camera. So check those. Once there's no camera, free. Amen. 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 I want, we want to pray with them. Please help them, tickets, help them to kneel down on the, on the pillow. And then we'll pray over them in the power of the Holy Ghost. And then I'll pray the concluding prayer. Oh, Sha, where so blessings, Sha, where so blessings we. We come against 
peace in law in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we come against every frustration in Jesus name we pray oh God even as they travel through the times even as they travel through the days even as they travel through the years in Jesus name cover them up oh God bind them together oh God lead them the way they should go that your name will be forever glorified. We give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' name. We pray, oh God, that it shall last forever, even to the glory of your holy name in Jesus' name. We bless them with the blessing of the Lord in Jesus' name. Cause them to be fruitful in every way in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray the final prayer. Sing this up with me. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together in love. Hallelujah, bind us together. in Jesus name father by the anointing of the grace with which you call me to ministry I let the heavens open that may it begin to pour in torrents of blessing upon their lives right now pour down pour down rain pour down rain pour down rain pour down rain pour down, down. down yes it has begun to rain it has begun to rain and it is pouring it is becoming heavier. Yes, the rain, the rain, the rain of heaven is pouring over the life of these two. And they are with fire, with fire that blazes out and flares out and touches the heavens. That no demon, no power of hell shall ever be able to approach their dwelling. In Jesus' name, make, make them as hot as iron that no fly can settle on them. Make them fruitful. May they be blessed in their going out and their coming in. Translate their tongues to speak words of encouragement, to speak words of love, and words that calm the soul and deep grace to the spirit. In Jesus' name, promote their love. Give it increase and enlargement in Jesus' name. May their children rise up and call them blessed. May their children become prominent in society. May their children fulfill your, your will and do your purposes in the land in which they live. In Jesus' name. May all men be cut off. May all men be cut off. May all boys be cut off. May all mothers be cut off. May all fathers be cut off. May all sisters be cut off. In Jesus' name. Amen. Anoint them Amen. with fresh oil. Fresh oil. Break a vial yeah. of oil today yeah. in heaven yeah. and let all the contents pour on them. Pour on them. Pour on them. Oil. 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 Anointed oil in Jesus' name. I bind you together that no one can separate this union. No one can separate this binding. No one can separate this claiming together to become one flesh. But one flesh today, indeed, until the eternity's door shall open in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Please come and help us to help you to rise up and roll first. Coffee, please rise up. Let us help you. Yes. And then you alone, because you alone are here. Help her to rise. And I can help her. Help her to rise. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Bello. 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. Bello. Bello. This is done. So bello. Ten of the congregation, please. Bello. I present to you. I 
representing Mr. and Mrs. Grace Kofi Duncan, the newest couple in town. Put your hands together for the Lord and celebrate her. Hallelujah, Banda. Together, Lord Banda. Together, we call that cannot be true. Take of the bread of heaven, Amen. and it shall be solid food for your new and fresh marriage. Amen. Father, bless the bread. Amen. Translate it to become your very body. Yes. The one that hung on the cross on Calvary in Jerusalem's land. Amen. That same body, may it be in the bread. Amen. As they take in this body, may it give them the nutrients yes. required for the long journey of the rest of their days. In Jesus' name. And after they eat the bread, may this wine smoothen the journey. Hey, smoothen the journey. Oh, I say smoothen the journey with the wine. In Jesus' name. May it make everything beautified and refined and refreshed and glorious. In Jesus' name. I pray the blessing of God upon it. It is renewed and changed in this very minute. In Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. amen. Bind us together.
of the people here and with the sound of my voice. Yes, now. Yes, now. Begin the move that which you've accomplished and see that our life be today, that it shall produce a harvest in the days, in the weeks, in the months, and the years ahead. Ending up only at the doors of eternity, where we shall receive a right hand of fellowship from you to enter into your rest in the corridors of heaven, to rest and to be blessed in Jesus' name. I pray that everyone here who is being tormented by demons, may they be released and delivered today before they leave here. In Jesus' name, where there is a hole that is on fire, may they go and let, 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 let peace be still. Let there be a great calm come upon that hole. In Jesus' name, when people are not talking tense, break out the freeze and let it be easy and smooth to the honor and praise of your name. Where there's financial hardship, open the window, the one that leads to the fortnox of heaven and the stripes that were laid upon your body. We have been, we have received our healing. It was purchased for us. It is ours by right in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, may our steps be honored. May your word be a light unto our feet and a lamp unto our path. May we see clearly and avoid every trap in this life. May we rejoice daily, celebrate you daily, as we fill our mouth with laughter and joy. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout, I receive it. Let's say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' name. We need one mighty praise song for them to sing and uh, celebrate the Lord for what He has done for them. And um, Sister, uh, Sister Yvonne. What song do you think will be good for them? Unto the Lord. Nyonya 
Kabibi chamo, 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 kabib